So, uh, I got, this is a rug flushing wand that uh, Kevin Clue hooked me up with a buddy of his that makes these. But uh, I'm hacking out some rugs in here that aren't bad. And then I've been out here <coughs> hillbilly washing some of the rugs that have some urine contamination. And then I'm using the rug sucker. I was just doing some small ones, so it's just a little one. And then I just use uh, plastic bags to cover up the holes that aren't aren't uh, in contact with the rug. There's the other piece right there. So yeah, so I got these done already. Some of these are drip drying. And these are viscose. These are kind of junk rugs. And some of these are, you know, got some damage on them. We didn't cause that, but I want to make sure you document all that. And then the, these rugs, and these turn out really good, but these, these two rugs were polluted with uh, pet urine. So they are cleaning. These are, sorry, these are drying. These are already done. And then I'll have to probably detail the fringe. But, uh, yeah, those look pretty good. And this is my little homemade little hoist system I made here. So I can pick up a lot of heavy rugs all at once. But then I got some rugs over here. They're not structurally sound, so I dry them flat uh, with the fiber down. That rug's already done. This rug's already done. My water's overflowing. Arr. But yeah, so either way, and then I have the uh, the uh, special edition Centrum Force with the upside down sticker that I'm uh, squeegeeing the rugs down with. So I'm just trying to get these done. It's like two thousand dollars worth of rug washing in my shop right now, so I'm trying to get the bad ones done and get the rest of them done with uh, whatever methods that they need. So <clears throat> I was just mixing up some fab set there to sour this rug and make sure it uh, gives up any more pet urine problems that it has. Plus sour it and it won't turn brown so easily for the fringe. So, All right guys, hope you're having a great day.